There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Proverbs 14, 12. Sincerity of belief in the ways ends in everlasting destruction. 11. So many different opinions. I really don't know what to do. There are so many opinions that I am quite perplexed to know what to believe. If this is your thought, let me strongly impress upon you the importance of being guided entirely by the sure word of God. There is only one way of salvation, and it is very clearly stated in the Bible. A lady who had not long to live was anxious about her soul, a Christian visitor, and she earnestly asked, What are your views of salvation? I have no views, was the reply. The lady was amazed. You seem astonished, said the visitor, but, I, but supposing I had... What good would they do you, seeing they would be the views of the fellow mortal? I can, however, give you something better. I can give you God's view. The result of the conversation was that the lady soon afterwards found peace by learning that the question, what must I do to be saved, was answered, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved, Acts 16, 30-31. Do you know that you are lost. The Philippian jailer knew that he was lost or he would not have asked what he had to do to be saved, Acts 16, 30 to 31. Have you ever really seen yourself to be a lost sinner? The great question is, are you saved or lost? Face it fairly. If you were called to meet God at this moment, are you prepared? Though thou art of purer eyes than to behold evil and canst not look at iniquity, Hebrews 1, 13. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne, Psalm 97, 2. If unsaved, unconverted, unforgiven, listen to the word of the living God. The soul that sinneth, it shall die, Ezekiel 18, 4. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God, Psalm 9, 17. If you know that you are lost, there is one, oh, there's one both able and willing to save you. His mission is to this world was to seek and to save that which was lost. Luke 19.10 Take the lost sinner's place and claim the lost sinner's Savior. How to be saved? God is holy and just, though merciful and gracious. Will by no means clear the guilty, Exodus 34.7. He says the wages of sin is death, Romans 6.23. How then can anyone be saved? For all have sinned and all deserve the second death. The scripture has declared without shedding of blood is no remission. Hebrews 9, 22. Sin must be atoned for. Jesus gave himself a ransom for all. 1 Timothy 2, 6. The ransom price was paid and accepted. Justice is satisfied not with what you have done, but what, with what would Christ has done for you on the ground of his finished work. God invites and beseeches you to accept a free, full, and present salvation. It is a wonder that any remain unsaved when God has shown so clearly and fully in his word how salvation is to be obtained. If you wish to be saved, hear what God says to you in the following verses. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 All that believe are justified from all things. Acts 13.39 Whosoever believeth in him shall receive Remission of sins, Acts 10, 43. He that believeth on him is not condemned, John 3, 18. The firstborn in the sprinkled, blood-sprinkled house in Egypt was preserved from the destroying angel because the Lord had said, When I see the blood, I will pass over you, Exodus 12, 13. Salvation can only be had by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Number 14, far too easy a way. Many are stumbled at the simplicity of the gospel when it is presented to them in all its fullness uh, and freeness. They declare that believing on the Lord Jesus Christ is far too easy a way, and they refuse to accept it. Thank God it is an easy way of being saved, though an easy way is not too easy since it is obtained through believing in one by whom the difficult work has all been done, the Lord Jesus. It was not easy for him to be mocked and insulted by men. It was not easy for him to be scourged, spat upon, and crucified. It was not easy in the moment of his humiliation and agony to be, agony to be forsaken 
of God, it was not easy for him to be wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. Isaiah 53, 5. Though an easy way, it is God's only way of saving sinners. And if you are not saved in that way, you will never be saved at all. To him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Romans 4, 5. I, 15, I always believed on Jesus, and yet I cannot say that I am saved. Depend on it. If this is what you say or think, you are completely mistaken. No one has always believed on Jesus. You may have believed a great deal about the Lord Jesus Christ, but you have never really believed on him. You have never received his glorious gospel, or you would be saved. What about the Lord Jesus? Do, do you believe? I believe that he died on Calvary for sinners. Believing that won't do you any good. Do you believe that he bled and suffered and died on account of your sins? If you did, you would know from the word that you had eternal life and would not come into judgment on account of your sins. No one can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ without being saved. For he is declared, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. Acts 10.43 all, all that believe are justified from all things. Acts 13.38-39 Number 16, I don't believe in the right way. If you are not already saved, you don't believe on Christ in any way. Scripture does not 